hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we will troubleshoot the Wi-Fi is not showing on setting you can see here there is no Wi-Fi listed here if I go to network and internet setting you can see there is no Wi-Fi listed here if you are getting the same problem this video is for you first of all we should try the troubleshoot option here this is the inbuilt feature of Microsoft so you can try that this will work in a rare case but you can also try this option okay select here you can see there is no Wi-Fi listed here if you get it select that click on next I'm choosing here all networks since the Wi-Fi is not listed here and it is detecting the problems okay it is unable to fix the problem I have to close this option and we need to go to the device manager to make sure that the driver is listed here or not click on device manager once you click on that expand the network adapter options here this is the option and look for Wi-Fi option here okay but in my case there is no Wi-Fi listed here you can see here there is no Wi-Fi if I go to ncpa.cpl cpl okay you can see there is no Wi-Fi option here these are my virtual networks so Wi-Fi is not listed here so you need to add the hardware here okay you need to add the hardware here and the driver as well so we don't have the internet connection so we need to go to the action option here click on add legacy hardware after that click on next option select the second option which is install the hardware that I manually select from a list advanced click on next and you need to look for the network adopters here same option which is listed in the device manager this option click on that click on next and let's wait it is retrieving it is retrieved the, all the details here you need to click on this option and then on the right hand side look for wireless dual band or other option if you get it Okay, it is not listed click on Intel option and look for wireless it is also not listed here choose Intel corporation and look for now you can see there is wireless but this is not the Wi-Fi driver scroll it down and here is you can see the driver here Intel R12 and wireless AC 3168 okay and other listed also here okay with the version with the date as well okay I'm choosing this option here Intel dual band wireless you can choose one by one and you can also choose the option like this you see this option I'm choosing this option click on next click on and then click on next again and it will install the hardware on your device click on finish option now you can see there is a Wi-Fi listed here now you need to right click on that click on disable it first click on yes right click on that click on enable option okay we have disable enable still same click on right click update choose option browse this option and from here you need to click on next okay once you click on next close this and go to services tab here open the services and look for WLAN in a WC press W on your keyboard 
the blue lan auto config this option wlan auto config right click on this go to its properties select the startup type to automatic and click on start the service now it is starting click on apply click on ok and click on restart ok click on restart and let me restart my system and i will show you after the restart so i have restarted my system and let me go to here option this option and you can see the wi-fi is come back and if i go to device manager and if i click on network and adapters you can see there is a wi-fi listed here okay this is the wi-fi which i'm looking for and it has been enabled now and 3168 okay if it is still not working and it is still yellow rectangles okay you need to go to the browser let me connect with the network okay if you still don't have the wi-fi driver listed on the device manager and it is it is still yellow rectangles you can do tethering on the same windows or you can go to the other computer to access the wi-fi okay or if you have ethernet cable so you can plug in if not you can do tethering on your windows so i will link a video how to tethering so that you can connect with the phone and as well as with the network this option google chrome and we need to manually add the wi-fi driver here click on this option on the search bar and then type here intel wi-fi driver and you can see this option intel the first option and you scroll it down and this is for windows 10 and 11 as well so click on install it click on accept and it is going to download now if you are choosing the other operating system and other and manufacturer as well so you can go to the manufacturer website so i'm choosing here the hp laptop here um, and the model number is this option hp convertible 360 hp driver download hit enter and choose the first option here choose your laptop or desktop whichever you are using you can choose this option let hp detect your product but if you have the sn key serial number key you can directly paste and click on submit option how to check the sn key go to cmd vim bios get serial number okay this is the command you can try once we hit this command okay i have put the sn key on the submit option and i have cut the video for the security regions so after that click on operating system choose accordingly and click on submit now you can choose the automatically or the manually add the driver here after that look for network driver network okay and then look for wireless driver you can see here real tech click on download and install it how to install that this is downloaded now let me go to the download option and you can see wi-fi driver is here you need to just double click on that and you need to click on yes button when the prompt opens okay after that click on next click on i agree install and the driver is installing now so this is the process you should check this and once it is done restart your system and your driver will be back and your issue will be solved so hope your issue is solved now if your issue is solved then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching